hi welcome back to my youtube tutorials this is abm graphics and today we are here to do another different on photoshop yes today we i'm just going to show you how to design a share butter label for a product and it's going to be something different and you are going to learn a whole lot of on that on giving out the guidelines when designing sector the work or anything that you want to appear on the label sector and everyone will see it beautiful and everything the composition everything the layout will be beautiful for you and you can have some ideas or more on how to do this that kind of things and your your you also learn how many fonts i use on my label you and a whole lot of colors that i use on my label today i'm just going to show you that in photoshop and there is my sources my resources files that i have just downloaded and all this information we are going to use it for that so let's just go to photoshop and let's get it done so this is my photoshop that i've already launched and all what i need to do is to create a new document and i'll just head over to create a new document and then i'll click on that and when that sub distance appears then i'll put in my values and then we can just go over so this is my new document and how i'm going to do that is that for the document name i'm just going to call it share butter share butter label yes and then i'll have it uh centimeters i want to use centimeters and this place should be 14 and the height should be 11 and then i'll have this 300 resolution will be okay for me and the color mode i always choose cmyk so that i won't have to change it again when printing it and when this is done i'll just click create and then i'll have it just like this and then the next thing i have to do again to give out a guideline so that i can work safely without any problem and this place too you can learn how the grouping and a whole lot of things over here so uh, however i'll just head over to view then i'll come to new guide over here then i'll click that and uh, on vertical the position i'll make it 50 percent and then that 50 percent will sector my work on the particular distance so this is 50 percent so this and this and that and that 50 50 make it 100 percent you get that yes and i'll click back to the view again then i'll come to new guide again then i'll put in 30 percent so that i can have a a left side this thing over there then i'll have it just like this over here and the next thing again i have to do is to come back to the view again and then i'll pick new guide again then 30 minus 100 i'll get 70 percent and then i'll put in 70 percent over there too then i'll have it just like this and that is how the guidelines is going to be in that particular distance yes and then this one i can just decide to delete it out and then i'll this is my sector this is my right and this is my left and that ends the problem and then how anything i have to do again is to start designing the distance so first of all let's just head over to our uh background and then i'll make it this and then because of this particular label we are going to do it on a particular distance that look white or transparent so this particular label is going to is going to be a transparent label so that we can print it on a transparent material so that only white will not come up but the design itself will appear on that particular distance so that we can wrap it around that particular label yes so the next thing again i have to do is come and pick a rectangular marquee tool over here then i'll just draw something like this over there and when i have it just like this this color i'll just maintain it over there and then what i need to do is to press t to what to transform then i'll right click and then i'll choose warp over there and when i choose warp over there I'll just make this one come down just like this over there just like this and then I can either decide to move this one on top a little bit and then I'll have it just like this and then maybe I can move this one on top just like that and then I'll just click OK and then the next thing I have to do is to move it just over here just like this and then what I need to do again again is to duplicate it by pressing ctrl G and then I'll hold control and move this one around here and then i'll just press ctrl t again and then i'll right click and flip it horizontally so this one will come here and then i'll just uh zoom out my distance and then i'll just make it somewhere in just so that it will be in line with this one over there just like that and then i can have it just like this okay yes and when i have something like this what i need to do again is to hold shift to select all of them and then i'll just position it in the middle 
how do I do that? What I need to do over here is that I'll press con I'll press Control A to select all this uh, the object the, the document and then over here I'll come and press the sector this thing this way and I'll press this one too so it's in the middle then I can have it just like this and I'll just select it and then what I need again to do is to press Shift uh, Shift Alternate or and then I can just move it in just like this and then it can it, it will make it beautiful for me to do to get that yes so let's just get it done by move, holding it that way and i'll have it just like this and that one i'll move it somewhere here and then maybe over the here i'll just move that one to over there and then i'll move this one to over here just like this and then i'll move this one over here just like that and i'll just have it just like this just to show the guidelines appears very well as i want it yes and then i can have it just like this and then let me zoom out my work over here and then you can do it and then through the printing everything will appear very beautiful for me without any problem and then next again i have to do is to come and pick another rectangular marker tool then i'll draw a shape to here to make it just like this over there and then that one too, I'll put it in the background so that it will part of the background grouped here and I'll just move that one to the bottom of all the distance and then I'll reduce the opacity to somewhere uh, uh, 70, 70 will be okay for me and I'll have it just like this and over here I'll push in the distance to have it just a uh, the edges should be somehow rounded and then I'll have it just like this and then I'll move this one to the this thing over here and then I'll just make it be in line with this one then I'll can have it just like this over there yes and I'll move it a little bit just like this yes so because I'm working out on the CMYK you see that the color has changed it looks so distant but it's, it has no problem and then I'll have it just like that and then the next thing again I have to do is to start from the right to how I want it or I can start from here to all that so first of all let's put in our distance over here and then I'll gradient I'll put my gradient uh, ingredients over here then I'll just paste it on just like that and then uh, I'll, uh, when when this thing is pasted all what I need to do is to change the color and then I'll change the the font type that I want to use and then I'll have it just like that over there and then I'll show that the guidelines to be somewhere here for me and then I'll change the font to what to mount Mont is the Montjuat, so I'll just search for my font Mont Jurat uh, over there, and I'll choose uh, uh, this particular distance over here, Mont, and then it should be semi bold over there, over there like that, and then I'll change the color to this color down there over there, just like that, and then I'll come over and then I'll select this particular distance over here, then I'll have it just like that and. This one I'll have it just like that and I'll paste in this one to just like that and I'll just right click and then I'll paste it just like that and I'll have it like this. So the paragraph and I'll make it left aligned and then I'll change the color to what to black. So just black just like that. You get that yes. And then I'll click on my this thing then I'll make it move it just like that. And this one will be okay for me without any problem and then i'll make it uh let's say uh, just like that okay regular and then the next thing again i have to do is to come and pick my direction and the direction to should be somewhere here and then i'll paste that one to over there and i will leave it semi bold just like that and i'll choose the same color over there just like that and then I'll come over and pick the story over here then I'll copy it then I'll paste that one to uh, just like that over there just like this and I'll have it just like this over there and everything should be aligned with the listing so that your work will look nice and anybody who sees it will like it and I'm going to use semi-bold over and uh, regular over there 
then I'll make my color black over there too and that looks something realistic and then I'll head over and pick made by this thing and I'll copy that one too and then this is the company information then I'll just put that one too over here just like that and I'll have it just like this and then I'll make sure I align it very well so that it will look so beautiful for me without any problem and over here what I need to do is to pick my text tool and come and select only the mid in Ghana by this thing then I will make it semi bold and then I'll change the color to this color down here and it will look so realistic for me depending on how you want it to be and without any problem then i can have it just like this and then the next thing again i have to do again in this particular thing is that i'll come head over and then i'll place a logo um a, a, a made in ghana logo over here and i'll just head over to my made in ghana logo it's not there well so let's let me just see where i can find made in ghana logo Made in Ghana logo, made in Ghana logo. Okay, so I think it's over here. I'll just have it just like that over here. And what I need to do over this part right here is to just remove the background over there. And I'll right click over here and rasterize the layer. Then I can click away the white background around that made in Ghana logo. Then I'll have it like this. Then I'll hold alternate because I'm using Photoshop CC19. Then I'll just transform it then i'll put it somewhere here and that looks so beautiful and i'll leave it just like that okay yes and then the next thing again i have to do is to uh come with this particular this thing over here and then all all what i need to do is to go to file then i'll pick a link over there i'll place a link and then i'll look for that particular this thing over here and i'll put this particular this thing over here and that one should be somewhere over here and that looks so beautiful then i'll have it just like that without any problem and then i'll have it just like this it looks so beautiful for me and i'll leave it that way and the next thing again i have to do is to come back to this particular design right click and pick ellipsical tool over here then i'll zoom out over here and then i'll just hold shift to draw a circle just like that over there and then i'll duplicate it by pressing ctrl j3 yes and then uh inside that particular one i'll make it black over there and then i'll hold alternate i'll hold shift alternate then i can just transform it in just like that and i'll have it just like this and this one to the inner one to i'll transform that one to a little bit in then i'll have it just like that and then the last one over here i'll reduce the opacity uh, a little bit yes and then i'll have it just like that over there and then what i need to do is to come over and then i'll pick this particular information over here and then i'll just come and paste it in that particular this thing just like that and i'll paste it uh, paste it just like that and then i'll make the this thing go a little bit and then i'll change the font to what to post well over there and then i'll have it just like that and then i'll make sure that i make it uh, a little bit small and this particular two things or what i need to hold alternate shift or just to transform it uh, a little bit so that it will cover all the information that is on that particular system without any problem and then this is how I'll have it over there and I'll have it sectored then I'll come to paragraph and then I'll sector it just like that over there and I'm going to change the color to white over there just like that you get that and this one let me just leave it regular so that it won't be so distant over there then I'll have it just like that yes and then the next thing again I have to do again in this particular distance let me just save my work over there so that i won't have a problem through any of this thing so on this one to this one i'll group it then i'll call it right so that i'll understand anything over there so when i close it all the right will go and then over this one to i can group that one too then i'll call that one to left over there 
then when I close it, everything on that too will be closed. So let's work on the sector of the distance. So in this sector, we are going to place in our company logo, and this is the company logo that I have just they have sent me to work with. So this is how I'll just place it in this particular distance and don't mind how the logo looks so wretched. Just have it just so I'll come to rectangular market tool over here then i'll pick polygonal tool over here just like that and then i'll make the size to be what to be six size polygonal tool and then all what i need to do is to hold shift then i'll just draw something just like that over there and i'll have it just like that and what i need to do is to press ctrl t and i'll head over to the angle here this is angle and then i'll make that angle 45 then it will look so beautiful for me and i'll have it just like that yes and when i have something like this over here i have to move it on top of the distance just like that and then all what i have to do, do is to hold shift alternate and then i'll have it just like that without any problem i'm just going to transform it just like that too so that it will look beautiful for me and then i'll change the color to black over here and then i'll move the logo to the top of the distance and then i'll right click and then i'll create a clicker mask in that so that it will look so beautiful for me and then i'll just uh have to transform it a little bit so that it will look so beautiful for me without any problem and then this is how i'll have it in that particular distance and then i'll have it just like this then i'll just transform it a little bit to have it just like that to look some over here yes and that is how i'll have it in that particular distance and that one looks so beautiful for me without any problem so however i'll have to duplicate this thing by pressing ctrl j again and then i'll change the color to gold color over here and then the two layers over here i'll just make it go in a, a little bit over there and then i'll have it just like that and the next net again i have to do is to head over to my information over here then i'll come and pick nourishing share butter this thing so i'll pick up that particular this thing over there and then i'll just put in that particular this uh, text and i'll have it just like that and i'll change the color to this same color over here and then i'll change the font to osis and i'll make the distance 15 i'll have it 15 the size should be some where 15 okay, okay system will be okay for me then let me have it just like it for now and then i'll make it bold and i'll reduce it a little bit so that it can go into the sector guidelines without any problem you get that yes and the next thing you're gonna have to do is to head over and pick the lotion over here then i'll just copy that one and i'll place that one here too then i'll have it just like that okay yes and i'll make it not capitalized and then i'll change the font to black sword and i'll have it just like that okay. and black sword is one of the fonts i normally use on my design then i'll have it just like that and for this thing i'll make it 50 the font size should be 50 and this is how that one too will look like in that particular distance and then i'll add a gradient overlay to it over there and it's going to look so different and so beautiful and then i'll add some shadow to it and that shadow will not appear i'll just leave it that to this way then i'll have it just like that and the next thing i have to do again is to go to file and uh, go to place a link uh, when i get there i'll just come and pick this particular share butter um this thing then i'll place it somewhere here and that looks so realistic and i'll have it just like that and i'm going to make some changes to it without no problem so let's head over to this particular distance and moisturize and uh, and softening i'll just come and pick that one and then i'll paste that one to over here and then i'm going to change the font to font in that particular distance so you can see that through this thing i'm using only uh what is the name fonts around three fonts that i'm using right now so without any having any more problem yes and then i'll have it just like that and um there will be changes that i'll still make on this particular distance so that you can understand it better and 
good you get that yes so when i have something like this all what i need to do the logo this thing over there i'll just try and transform it to the top and then i'll have it just like that and this one too should go a little bit top and then this one should be somewhere here should move our top and then that one should come on top of the label so that it will appear just like that and then what i need to do over here too is to the background over here i'll just come and hold the two distance over there then i'll transform that one to a little bit down just like that and then this one i'll move it uh, down a little bit and this one can be somewhere here yes and then this one should also go a little bit down so that it will not appear on this particular distance then i'll have it just like that and it's going to look oh the font has changed sorry so when this thing is changed like that all what i need to do again is to head over and then i'll come and pick uh, this particular text over here then i'll just go and paste it on this over here just like that and i'll have it just like this okay yes and i'll have it just like that and then i'll make it nine and uh this uh this thing i've already get it by pasting it yes. then i'll have it looks just like that and i'll mix those changes to it so that it will my alignment will look so beautiful then i'll have it just like that over there and then I'll have it just like this we get that yes and after this that ends the problem of designing this kind of label and that label looks so beautiful and is going to look different in all of us so when you have something like this it's going to look beautiful note um on this particular design on this particular tutorial i'm not going to give out any resources file and that ends the problem because this is for your client and i just show you on how to get your layout done and those kind of things and that makes it so i can give out a this thing so thank you very much for watching this is avian graphics and have a nice day bye bye